I just think we deserve a day. And I'm hoping that if I take one, if I have a self-care day, I'm hoping that you can take some inspo and realise that we can't fill up other people's cups until we fill up our own. I've noticed really recently, don't get me wrong, everything's good. Everything's so good. I'm not going through anything difficult. Like, everything's fine. I've just noticed myself getting a little bit more emotional, a little bit more tetchy than normal. Could be because of my periods tomorrow. <laughs> but there's been, like, two or three weeks whereby... I haven't really been enjoying this version of me. Like, I've been biting people's heads off. I've been... I lie. My version of biting people's heads off is them saying something and me reacting by crying. Like, <laughs> not been taking criticism too well. Like, for example, when I send off my videos to brands, when they give me edits, I've been taking it so much more personally recently. And, like, for example, I've had some career-changing moments recently and people that I thought were my loved ones didn't necessarily check in that hit me like a ton of bricks. I don't know, I just feel like normally I'd be able to handle some of those things. That's not all of them, by the way, they're just some bad examples, I guess. But yeah, I feel like I'd normally be able to handle them. I can't speak, I need coffee, I need food. But yeah, I feel like I'd be able to handle them way better. But because I haven't looked after myself in a while, I feel like I haven't done anything nice for myself in a long time. Um, That's probably why it may have hit me so hard. So we're gonna, we're gonna change that today. So I figured we could go old school and do what, do you remember ages ago? I don't know if you guys have been as into YouTube as I have over the years. Like I used to be so obsessed with it and I used to love it when my favorite influencers would like ask their Instagram what to do and then would do what their Instagram suggested. So I think I'm gonna like ask my Instagram what they would like me to do for the day or for the afternoon because it's already two. I think what I might do is just ask for the solo day inspo. If you can't tell I'm hungry, so I think we should start there. Yeah, let's start with lunch. I don't know why I feel so weird about calling myself an influencer. I am an influencer, but how about for now we just say, I'm the stranger on the internet that considers you a friend. <laughs> this was like a good segue into introducing myself. Hi, I'm Savannah. Not entirely sure why I'm here, but if you're new here, welcome. That's all I got. And if you've been here for a while, thank you. Love you. Love you so much. Okay, let's ask the old Instagrammy stories what to do. <laughs> the BTS is crazy. Let's go. What do I fancy? I would do, I would do brunch food, a loaded sandwich, oh, I love a good sandwich, oh, what else do I fancy, oh sushi, you have 10 minutes, <laughs> while we're waiting I thought I could show you my outfit, I'm very into like baggy and comfortable, also if it's not clear I'm finding it really hard to know the boundary between oversharing because you guys are like very much my friends so like I hope I never overstep the mark and you just gotta let me know if I have, also if I do ever say anything incriminating just give me a little nudge, like <laughs> be like Savannah, not the dirty laundry, let's see what we're having for lunch shall we, shut the fuck up, can you see that? The most common choice was loaded sandwich. Let's go get us a massive sandwich. Woo! Oh my god, there's that um there's that place in Notting Hill, isn't there? I might Google that, okay. <gasps> okay, so there's that secret sandwich shop in Notting Hill and it shuts in like 32 minutes. We're gonna try, we're gonna try and get there. I feel like this is gonna make or break our day. Sufficient lip moisture. We're ready, let's go. We're gonna make it, I can feel it in my bones. This is what we train so hard for sisters. I'm speedy. Hours. I'm not entirely sure. I think this could be it. It's called a secret sandwich shop, by the way, for obvious reasons. We've got no idea if it is actually a sandwich shop. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so it shuts in four minutes. Hopefully, they're still serving. Ah. Hi. Am I too late to order? No? Amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Um, Oh, that looks so good. What's your favourite? I'd say my favourite. Which one? Ham Yeah, fuck it. Let's do ham cheese egg. Is that okay? Yeah, please. Thank you. That sounds so good. You're going to shut at three, aren't you? Yeah. So I'll have it to go. No, I think you can Really? Okay, amazing. Thank you. We made it. This is the menu. It looks so good. I got... I got that one. But I think next time I'll get that one. We'll see. I'm going to try and show you how cute and vibey is in here without exposing anyone's actual faces. That's literally the door, it's so small. The kitchen's in there. 
Oh, so Holy Santa Claus shit. <gasps> so fat! Yeah, no, we should have another couple of lines I'm hoping there's a few of 50 people and that's the Uh, yes. Why don't we do the shoe of Captain you know, you're coming home with me. I don't know how to express how good that was, like how fresh it was. You've all got to go there. Like, <laughs> I was trying to think about what I could do next. Mm, it is 3.15. What do I feel like doing? Ooh. Okay, I know what things would make my heart sing. How about we choose between getting like a hair wash and blow out and just like strolling around Oxford Street and like window shopping, maybe even treating myself to something. Ooh, I think we should ask my stories. <laughs> what should I do now? <laughs> Post. Set my alarm for 10 minutes. Nice. I like this game, we should do this more often. Maybe we'll make this more common occurrence. We'll see, we'll see. You guys clearly really want me to wash my hair, so I guess that's what we are gonna go do. But I actually think that might be really nice. I'm going out for dinner with my family tomorrow to kind of a nice restaurant, so it might be nice to turn up and actually feel done, you know? Like, actually feel ready for a change, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. If that was you, thank you for choosing. Do you know what I just realised? I've had my hair blow-dried for work before, for, like, shoots and stuff like that, but I've never had a wash and blow-out just for, like, leisure. So this is a first for me. I was 30 years old when I got my first wash and blow-out. This is a starting point. Mm. I feel like a different person. Did anyone else grow up thinking stuff like this was such a frivolity, like it was silly to spend money on stuff like this? And then now, like the fact that I've just done that and come out feeling like a million bucks, like I actually feel like I'm going to attack my work day tomorrow way better because I just feel happier in myself. Like, I didn't realise that hair wash could do that, but apparently I'm a new woman. Sorry, I just had to cross the road, also I've just never really known how to talk about this on the internet, but because I was so bullied as a kid for being like the smelly Indian kid, which is obviously bullshit, like makes me so angry to think about now but like i still do have some insecurities about people being close enough to touch me and smell me so i felt really emotional when he was doing my hair and then at the end of it he just commented on how beautiful i looked and yeah i don't know he just really lifted me up and i really needed that today and i'm all in all very happy with it oh yeah also while i was in there um i didn't have the nerve to get my vlogging camera out but basically i asked you guys what you wanted me to do do a podcast and a walk or a book and a cafe and resoundingly it was a book and a cafe so we're gonna go do that for a little bit get a little snacky snack and some caffeine and then i've got my book from one of hugh hefner's late wives which is obviously gonna be a great read i know no one actually voted for a little treat but i like these and they're on sale and i don't actually have any black booties mm. Oh, 31 pounds. Oh. Might need to do a cheeky dry on that. Okay, but maybe, maybe I do need them. Oh, so cute. Your wish is my command, friends. They're closing up the cafe, so I'm going to ask you guys what you want me to do one more time on my story. Last decision of the day. Early movie night in bed with snacks, obviously, or an evening Pilates class and cook after that. I'm posting that knowing that I just want to go to bed. <laughs> Set the alarm nonetheless. Let's see if we're on the same wavelength, you know? Okay, we really do be on the same wavelength. You guys know me so well. Can't even lie to you, I had the best dinner. I may have grabbed some itsu on my way home. Also had some pick and mix in my cupboards. But you know how you know it's good when you don't think to get your phone and record? And to be honest, you guys, I feel like I'm just gonna pass out. It's like, it's like nine and I'm done. <laughs> oh my God, my flash is so bright. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming along to my little self-care afternoon. I feel like I forgot that I could do things like that for myself. And like, I think I'm actually gonna try and implement stuff like that into my routine a little bit more. Not necessarily like a whole afternoon, but I mean, I can if I have the time, but I think just, I want to try and have more actual quality time for myself because I usually just sit alone in my flat so like treating myself to date things it was just so nice and exactly what I think I needed and yeah I know 
this isn't necessarily a mind-blowing concept but i hope maybe it just reminds some of you to do something nice for yourself too um okay i'm done with my spiel <laughs> see you next week <laughs> i hope it's a good one for you